Susan is extremely helpful. She has a young son, like me, and I like her. The ministry has carefully selected her to be the very first woman to guide a team of foreign media. She even writes an article about us in her newspaper. I'm starting to wonder if she would allow us to film her life. What kind of journalist are you? Uh, I'm a part-time journalist for the Saudi Gazette, and I'm the only female in Riyadh. So I cover women's um, issues, women's events, business. I attend uh, uh, news conferences. Sometimes I'm the only woman. Sometimes there's uh, another lady with me among 20 and 30 other male journalists. So, uh, it's fun. Did you always want to work? Oh, yes. I was always career oriented until I had the baby. And then um, I had to think twice. But uh, I enjoy working. This is our house. I live downstairs, and uh, my brother-in-law and his wife and his daughter lives upstairs. Um, and that's my father-in-law's house. What kind of neighborhood is this? This is like a middle, upper class, a um, lot of teachers, government workers, and it's a relatively new. My in-laws' entrance. And... If you'd like, we'll go back for my entrance. This is my door. This is a maid's room, but um, I don't have a maid, so my mother-in-law uses it for her maid. We made this door after we moved in. This used to be, you know, just... A while, but we added this door so the so I could go to my mother-in-law and she could come and visit me without going outside and without wearing the abaya, and the kids could just go back and forth without worrying about them uh, being run over by cars or strangers talking to them. Because so. normally you dress like this in the house. No, no, I just dress like this when I go outside or I meet men. I have to, you know, work with men. Yeah. But now you're wearing it. Yeah, I'm wearing it because uh, I'm on video and I'll be exposed to the world. <laughs> so I, I'd rather be covered. <laughs>